Okay, so I decided to do a <clears throat> couple videos. I'm gonna put in uh, my stock air filter, put the stock exhaust back on. I got a single three inch MBRP exhaust and some shorty headers, but we're not gonna take those off. That'd just be way too much work. Um, but I'm gonna throw in the stock filter and put on the stock exhaust. And we're gonna see what kind of fuel savings we're getting uh, if any at all by switching over the high flow filter and the exhaust so we're going to start by putting it completely back um, we'll have the stock exhaust on and the paper filter and then I will take out the paper filter and put in the high flow filter and then we'll put the exhaust on and see what the combination uh, how much better fuel economy we're getting and then after we're done that um, in the next video we will be doing uh, AMS oil uh, right now it's just got the OE oil in there and uh, then I'm going to go to the signature series along with the diffs change the diffs oil over to AMS oil and the transmission and we'll see if we get some uh, fuel savings out of that if any so uh, here we go we're going to put our stock exhaust on big winds giving it the once over is it good yeah oh he says it's good to go so we're gonna put it on there okay so we got the aftermarket three inch off the truck now I'm not saying you do three inch depending on your vehicle on what exhaust system you'd get so now we're gonna stick our stock exhaust back on and uh stock air filter so i'll go ahead throw this on we'll go do our test run and uh see what the difference is okay we're just about ready got the exhaust in so you just uh got two bolts there and then we tighten that one up some hangers and uh I just took it out in two pieces. They do want you to cut it, but I don't like cutting my stock stuff. As you've seen, I have the aftermarket one in two pieces as well. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, tighten these up, and then we'll go for our test run with uh, the stock exhaust and stock filter and see what our fuel economy is. Okay, so we'll go through. 100% stock. You just seen we had their stock exhaust on. So we'll go do our test run. All right, here we go. We're gonna do the fuel economy test with um, the stock exhaust and the stock air filter and see how our fuel economy does compared to. There's our numbers, completely stock. Uh, stock air filter, stock exhaust. I do have shorty headers on there. Um, so now let's go and drop in a high flow filter with the stock exhaust and see if we get even better fuel economy. Okay, so the easiest, the most affordable, let's see if it actually makes a difference, is uh, one of these high flow filters. Yeah, step one, pop the hood. Uh, I think this one, spec D or something like that, and it was, uh, 40 bucks on Amazon. So we'll go ahead and pop that off. Now we'll go do our, uh, our same run and see if it makes a difference. All right. Here we go, uh, stock exhaust with high flow filter. We'll see what kind of fuel economy you get with this setup. Okay, so there was our run stock exhaust with a drop in air filter, one of the high performance or high flow filters. A little video of our uh, road trip. You can see we're down in a valley, so there'll be some hills. All kinds of good stuff. So here's where we're road testing. <laughs> you can uh, see on the dash cam, it's, uh, it's got hills. We're in uh, 
a valley, so. All right, for our next run, we'll do a stock air filter with a single three inch MBRP exhaust. See what our fuel economy does. And we'll reset it to our same spot and away we go. All right, here we are at the pumps, 61.5, same kilometers, 12.5. Uh, so let's Okay, last but not least, uh, we'll go and back down to the pumps, top her off and repeat. We got the cold air intake on there, which we started with. Three inch exhaust, MBRP. So let's see how much better it does. We'll go down, repeat our process. All right. There we are at zero. We'll go for a road test and see how it does. Okay, so there it is, 61.5, uh, 12.2. So the test results kind of shocked me. Uh, test run completely stock. We got 11.8 uh, liters, uh, 3.11 gallons, and that was all stock and so we got a two percent savings when we switched over to the high flow filter we got 11.6 liters and uh in gallons we got 3.064 so that's a two percent savings when we switched over to the uh, air filter when we put on the stock filter and the three inch exhaust we lost we got our worst numbers that uh 12.5 liters, which is a loss of 6% uh, over stock, and 3.48 gallons. And uh, then when we put the high flow filter back on, we got 2.6 liters and uh, 3.22 gallons for that particular run. And uh, so that's a savings again of 2% or 3% two or three percent with the high flow filter so our best combination was the stock exhaust system with the high flow filter and uh so there's the filter that i'm running i think it was forty dollars um so two percent so if you were to fill up say three times a month month that would be uh say if it was a hundred dollars six dollars uh probably 48 to 100 dollars a year pays for your air filter you can reuse those filters as well i will say um with the exhaust system and stuff like that you might see different results if you have a turbo vehicle stock turbos you you might see a better gain with the with the exhaust systems and stuff this is naturally aspirated so this is your average vehicles uh you see the big old ams oil sticker there so i'll show you what i'm running in in this for for the AMS oil and that got me thinking. Um, so I'm just running the OE and it's just for your regular change intervals. I'm gonna switch to the signature series and see, uh, I'm gonna do these same runs and I'm gonna switch to their higher grade oil. And I'm gonna do that run, see if we get a fuel savings. Then I'm gonna switch over to their diff oils and then to the ATF and they're all 100% synthetic. As you can see, And even that one, um, this one's just got a lot more cleaners and additives in it, more protective um, stuff for the vehicle. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that switch. I'm gonna do these test runs and see if we get better fuel economy with that. So I'm gonna switch it over to all 100% synthetics and see if that makes a difference. Uh, if you're interested in that, go down to that like and subscribe button, and uh, you can watch. That we also do other things here on DNS projects. I do lots of oil changes, how-to videos. Um, I'm going to be doing some stuff to the boat trailer, uh, to the boat, winterizing it. If you're into that type of stuff, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching DNS projects.